Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick and welcome back to another Hitman 2 video. In today's video, we will be playing another Escalation, this one being the Bartholomew Cornswoggle. This is an amazing name because Bartholomew is the name of King Clorox's great-great-grandfather. In this Escalation, we play on the Haven Island map, and the first challenge has me finding three map pieces from various locations of the map. Let's get started. So I loaded him with a tuxedo, mask, and gloves because that seems like the most fitting outfit in an environment like this. I start by going for the map piece in the garden room, and when I find it, this room is filled with guards, hence the name. Apparently, these guards aren't exactly aware of their surroundings, because all I had to do was unlock the door and take the map. Next, I unlocked this door because I had stashed a python that I could use for a special occasion. I then found the captain that had the map in the bar, and clearly he's seen better days. After observing him for a few minutes, I noticed that his entire routine consisted of drinking some alcohol, walking back to the railing, and looking at his map while screaming to the sea. That's the entire routine, for the rest of eternity. Luckily for him, I'll be able to take his map piece and break the time loop. Of course, I'll be taking his treasure map piece, but you know, you gotta compromise. So I tried distracting him with a coin a few times, leading him downstairs, and when that didn't work, I looked for a new plan. I went inside the kitchen because when he goes over and drinks, he ends up right next to the kitchen. So my plan was that if I could lead him into the kitchen, I could take him out in a secluded space. So I turned the power off, and the woman went over to turn it back on. Meanwhile, I choked out the other dude, and although he was very clearly struggling and loud about it, she only cared about the power and not the safety of her dear friend. I then dumped their bodies in a freezer, and I find it funny how it didn't show the non-target kill message, because if I'm leaving them in a damn freezer, I'm pretty sure they're gonna die. I then led the bartender in the room, and after a brief confrontation, we agreed to swap outfits because my shiny bald head just goes with the uniform. I then tried to lead the captain into the kitchen, and after like two seconds of trying, I just gave up. And that's just how I'm so persistent. I then tried to knock out this guard for no reason, and in the process, this random ass guard from 200 feet away spots me. I didn't really feel like going into combat quite yet, so I restarted. I went straight to the captain when I restarted, and make sure no one's around, no, well... There are casualties in these things. I then crouched over to his body and took his map, and as the crowd was freaking out, I fled. After that, I ran over to this beach where a secluded guard was. I sang him a lullaby, and as he fell asleep, I took his clothes. I then walked to the side of this house, where I wasn't allowed, and I unlocked the side door. I then opened it and shot a bullet on the ground, getting this guard to notice. Once he was down to the entrance, I shot another bullet, and now my plan was in motion. I really hope he doesn't get fired for this. It must be really awkward when they find these guys lying in bushes half naked. It's hard to live that down, and I know from experience. So I walked over to where the seed map piece was, and it was in a bottle. So I shot the bottle and found the map piece, and left the area. I then walked right into the guard room to take that piece, and it gave me a new objective. Dig up the pirate booty. Oh yeah, it's treasure time. I walked over to the treasure and saw a skull with some bones with the shape of an X. There was a shovel right next to it and so I dug away. Inside the treasure chest, I found an epic doubloon, but more importantly... a pirate outfit. There was also a sword to go with it, and you know, I'm leaving this place with style. So I dropped my shovel and took out my sword. This isn't a stealth game. Like I said, there are necessary casualties in these things. As I crept closer to the exit, I started to realize that taking the outfit might have been a bad idea because there are so many damn guards to pass to get to the actual exit. But don't worry because I have this little trick up my sleeve, a life hack you could call it. I won't reveal my secrets, but just know that they worked quite well in helping me escape. I escaped on this little boat and completed the first level. The second level of the escalation had me kill 8 targets with my trusted saber, start with a specific loadout that the game gives me, which I assume is the pirate outfit and the sword, and if I change my my disguise once at any point, I will immediately fail. So I start the mission and immediately go for my first target, and a brutal but quick kill. Somehow some ghost sees me kill the guy and screams. Ah! 
even as I'm looking at the footage, I still don't know who the hell could have seen me. But nonetheless, this paranormal being got all of the guards around me on alert, and so now I have to creep in the shadows, waiting for my next victim to be alone. And those guards don't do a good job of searching either. All they do is run up a few feet to this platform and just start shouting clear to each other. Then all of them calm down, and I find this guard breathing down this woman's neck that kind of creeps me out, so I do the thoughtful thing of throwing a sword right through his cheek. This part is actually kind of wild because the woman didn't even hear the guy get murdered. She just continues to stand there, literally frozen. After that, I find one of my targets going on his morning jog, which gives me the perfect opportunity to throw my heat-seeking saber. Seriously, I can't tell if 47 is just physically unable to miss, or these weapons are made with military heat-seeking technology. Either way, it's impressive. I then throw my sword at this guy when this waitress turns right around when I throw it. A quick, clean right hook to the jaw solved that problem. I then found this guard dragging one of my victims, so I killed him. I then found these two guards huddled close together, so I threw a coin one way and killed the guy in the back. As the other guard picked up the coin, thinking he got lucky, he was so tragically not. I waited for him to turn around so he could realize what just went down, and I gracefully tossed a sword over his head. I then got shot twice in the torso, which obviously doesn't phase 47 in the slightest. His whole body has been strengthened from years of beating from his stepdad, so I knocked the guard out and stabbed him in the face. I then did what any pirate does, and I left on my lime green jet ski. My mission score was also 69,869, and my completion status on this map is 16.9%, so I don't really know what could possibly be more beautiful than this frame right here. Just pure pirate perfection. The next level had me do the same thing, except this time I had to kill these two guys with cannonballs. Cannonballs. This is gonna be fun. I started up the mission again, going for the same first guy, and luckily that ghost woman moved on and didn't see me. But I did have an encounter with some of my targets, so things got a little out of hand. I hid away though, and I was able to get out of the guards' sights for the moment. At that point, as these guards were looking at each other with romantic intent, I accidentally tossed my sword precisely through his face. I'm such a klutz. I then had to fight the other guard when one of the targets I had to kill with a cannonball saw the bodies. He ran over to a guard and told him what was going on. Strangely enough, this guy seems to be on a real life delay because when I killed the guard, he just straight up stood there for like three seconds. He didn't even scream though, just kind of jogged away. As he went and talked to the other guards, I fell back and waited. When I did see someone vulnerable, I took the opportunity and threw my sword right through a tree and it hit my target. These things are dedicated to helping me. I then threw the sword to my last guard target, and now I was focused on the cannonball dudes. For some reason, I picked up a shotgun and dumbass Nick struck again when I shot and killed one of the guys I was supposed to kill with a cannonball. Good job, Nick. Once I restarted, I actually found the cannons and found out that with this escalation, I have unlimited cannonballs and unlimited gunpowder. This is because when you pick up either of them, they just respawn. So I would have unlimited opportunities to kill my targets. So I loaded in the cannonballs and shot one of my cannons that missed. After that, some guards found me, and so I found myself going on a mass murdering spree. there. I kind of blacked out for a second. Anyways, I killed the first guy with a cannonball, but noticed that with the second guy, when I missed my shot, it seemed to give quite a peculiar shape. I eventually landed the shot though, and killed a few extra people because why not? I had many close calls, but eventually came out victorious. Who knew 47 would be such a skilled pirate? So after that third level, I unlocked my very own pirate suit that I could use in any level. Anyways, I hope you all like this video. If you do want me to be a pirate again in any map where I complete the entire level in the pirate suit, let me know. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.